day seven of my full body workout so this is my how i look i weigh myself and i even check every single part of my body you know i even measure myself to see everything so i need to change so i'm actually going working out guys let me show you everything i did and everything that's really helped so this is my workout this is everything that's happening that body day body. the gym was a little bit confusing guys but you're gonna see this is my squat because i start with squat and I also go do some shoulder press and i also explain every reason why i do certain type of things so this is my workout i do arms workout at that day and also some strength training to deadlift that was 455 and also you guys was really impressed about my grips the grip strength is what's awesome holding on to that much weight with no straps <laughs> no straps no straps <laughs> thank you hey guys this is like this week four like first day that's my first day so i'm actually gonna start this workout it's really crazy right now i'm wearing my sandal you know so it's actually a chill day and i'm still gonna like wearing my shoes in a minute so it's actually like my gym is actually empty like you can see i almost got everything right now it's like everything set up now i just got to go do my squat and everything so first of all today we're gonna start with squat you know squat is always like not an easy day it's like day and i'm usually go heavy So first of all, before I even start any type of workout, so I need to stick to my warm up and also I need to find a way like to get myself ready for any type of weight I'm gonna try to do. Because most of the time, like I've seen people like going around, so they just going warm up and then they just like go straight to the warm up. But the key of warm up or the key of doing anything, you need to get straight to it because your top people but like we got different type of body weight but you need to actually focus on your pound of any type of weight lifting you know always focus on that because the key of warming up is not to get yourself ready for your move but it's also gonna help you move the like the amount of weight you know this is why sometimes we recommend that you start your workout with a clean warm-up because a good type of warmer not only gonna help you improve your your like everything you know it's also gonna make you escape injuries and stuff like this you know that's the goal because when you get like injury stuff and then you are you out that's the key when you're trying like to losing those weight and then you can't even ready to wear your workout so always like try to stick to your workout do your warm up, do it on the right time, you know. Start it before and after your workout, you know. Because we need to get yourself really ready before you even execute it, you know. That's the key. Just if you keep doing all the stuff, you will see like your journey is gonna be a little bit easier and also you're gonna feel like more comfortable like doing a type of workout. So just stick to it, do it almost every day and stick to your diet and then just get yourself, do your thing, you know, just do your thing. Because me for myself, before I drop like those type of pounds, you know, it took me time to do them. So this is why I want you to do like the same, stay focused and then keep working out. You know? When you do like 10 or 15 minutes for warm up, it's still fine. But if you can, like also before you even lift any every type of weight, I want to show you a tip that's really gonna help you out. Also, so stick to it. Let's just move to the second part. So like I usually say, guys, always start with like 
we warm up stuff so this is like the bar I'm actually gonna use first of all this is the squad bar you know that's too short not that short stop playing with me boy okay I'm kind of just gonna have to do it. see where that's gonna go um, So first of all, we're gonna choose like the squat bar. This is the LLT bar. So this bar is actually one of the bars so you can actually use for a squat. As you can see the middle, so this is the thing that's gonna go in the back of your head. So you need like to really keep this really in shape position so it's not gonna be moving, you know? So don't use those, you see like the only crystal like looking like that because this is for squat as the LDL2. So he's actually got this to hold your back so you're not gonna like flip up. So first of all, let's just start with the warm up with this. So warm up, you don't need to go that fast because I've seen people like the way they actually warming up, you just like, they just do. So you actually trying to crack yourself way back. So first thing you need to do, warm up, you need to go slow and actually hold it when you get low one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you go up now you say your squat okay i'm ready you know you're gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over one two three four five six ah uh, so you're gonna feel like a little light is actually working then we're gonna do 10 and then you're gonna be ready to move
So you're gonna have to feel a little crack up because it's happened sometimes. Like when you warm up, you're gonna feel your bone and your body like feel a little crack up, but it's still fine. You just got to keep doing it over and over and over until your body being attached to it, you know? Just stay focused and keep doing this whole move like no more. No gonna try to do five again. Now we're gonna move to 45 on each side. You know? ah. this I only got to do three three set that's you know, two reps I only got to do three reps on one set you know it now I just had to add like one of this now I'm gonna do two so I just had to do like two of this and then I'm gonna be ready you know so let's do like two of it then we're gonna move to a weight. Let's go. Two. Ah. Remember last time we stopped at four or five. So today we're gonna try to do five of it. You know what I mean? Just gonna add one more, and then the game actually gonna start. You know what I mean? <laughs> so remember, guys, a big boy eat big, lift big, so they can actually get the result they want. You know? You know, like about okay, we're gonna do two or three sets of it. But the thing is, you just got to feel like you're working, you know what I mean? Feel like you're doing your thing. You don't need to be worrying about anything than working on yourself, you know? Try to do your progress and track everything to see the mistake that you made, you know? And learn about every single detail, 
because all of things matter. And also, the safety always comes along. So if you feel like you're going to walk out, so you feel you won't be able like to leave the pound as you want to, always remember like to put yourself, your safety, you yeah? know? Because the only thing that's gonna save you is those stuff and make sure you're like, your area is actually clean. So nothing is gonna be like stop you, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this is it, guys. We don't now be ready. So let me just grab my things. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do make my wraps, my belt, and everything, so I'm gonna get safety. But I need to take like two mini breaks and then back to it. That's it, we're coming back. So remember, first of all, like you need to worry every single thing that you know that's gonna be necessary for you, like so to help you with like your injury, stuff like this. So always remember, like to put your like. Yeah, safety, you know, every single thing is really important. If you miss a step, you know, make sure you do all of those and then you're gonna be ready. You know? Make sure you use every single protection so you're gonna be able like to keep yourself safe and avoid injuries, you know, still fine. Always safety come first. One more clean. So let's see if we got. I didn't work out like for two days, but those were still important to me. Even though I didn't sleep that much, but things are gonna be fine. You know? I'm gonna try to go do five, at least five pieces of reps. If they two and pretty good. We're probably gonna be saved the day. You know what I mean? Okay. I hope you heard me guys. Let's go straight to it. Hope you enjoy this workout. <laughs> How'd you like do this thing like most of the time like simple for every single workout, you know? That's it. It's not like something I do for my first time. So one thing you need to always say to yourself, when you're going like to lift any table, every weight, always remember like to stick to your workout. You need to track your progress. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna lift like four or five. No, it doesn't work that way. You need like to be a period of time you've been working out so you actually know what you're doing before you even go and do them, you know? Just stay focused and keep working almost every day, track your progress to see what I did right, you know, before you move on. This, this is why you need to be careful sometimes. This thing just flip flop on me like that. This is crazy. <laughs> then, all, if you want, you can actually add your music. Only I usually try to keep it simple and get some motivation wrong. You know? Let's go. Let's do this. We like five. That's all that we need. And then we get ready. Okay. Let's go! Ah!
Five. Go. I got this, Jay. Let's go. One. Let's go. Two. Let's go. Three more. Got you. Let's go. That's one. You got this. Don't be a loser. Yeah. Easy. See? That's the thing. You got to push yourself. So no one's going to be there like to help you. It's you against yourself. You just got to get out and lift the weight. You know? So you say, I'm going to do this five. Make sure you got them, you do it. You know? So if you want to really change yourself, you got to change your mindset. So let's go and do it. So I'm actually going to try like to add 15 pounds more with equal going to be like 430, no 435 because it's going to be 15 pounds more because that's already 405. I don't know if my math is actually correct, but it should be, you know, then we're going to add only like five more, then that's it, you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you just got to grind and keep that really serious. So that's gonna be all for the day. Like, just got to do five more, and then we're done for squat. We're gonna switch up to deadlift, and then that's it. You know, stay tuned. Block ten. Okay, guys. So this is pretty like gonna be in you know, the reps, but this one I just add thirty pound more. You know, just to see if I can do at least five you know but i know we're gonna do 10. i'm kidding guys i can't do 10 of that it's light it's not light it's heavyweight you know you gotta take it careful let's go let's go That shit was quite heavy, bro. Ah! It was heavy. I did one. Still fine, you know? So let's go, guys. Let's just like light weight, you know? Let's see if we can get that five. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, guys, so let's go. Let's light the weight. Let's get it. So this is one thing I really want to recommend it. So when you're doing like 
some low pull lateral raises so when you do those make sure you like you really focus on two things it's not about the weight it's not about like how much like you do like you're doing like this so make sure like always keep your weight tight so you don't need like to go all the way down i've seen people like they doing like this so you actually like get yourself injured the best way you need to hold it like your your like your tight you know and then make sure you grab it like this just use your arms and then the second thing you just need like to pull it like this next to and then don't do like this because you're not doing anything but if you do that curve like that v right here and then you just pull it like this because you try to target your front delt muscle you know that's the way to do it straight for make sure you like you keep your form tight you know don't do it like this make sure you're doing straight for your muscle you try to target it you know there is nothing that complicated people make it so complicated you know like it's just simple and then make sure you do it with good forms then you're good to go like you're gonna do the same thing for the same process like one two three four and five that's it now we're gonna do some external arms rotation you know so we also need to go light so we're gonna try to go to do some like we're gonna target some little bit back and also shoulders at the same time you know <clears throat> because sometimes when you're doing like shoulders like to keep your shoulders a little bit clean or do work in every single part so you got to do all of those Uh. 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 No, just give the shoe the workout. Crazy. And so now we're gonna try to do some some upright rows that's the way they call it so we're gonna try to go light you know as much as we can just leave that guy in weight you know one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, and ten. So before you get those muscles, you're gonna suffer for them, bro. Shit's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Holding on to that much weight with no straps. <laughs> no straps. No straps. <laughs> Thank you.